Welcome to the Determined Man Podcast, where we help men become better versions of themselves and discover their life's purpose. Join us as we unlock the power of discipline and what it means to be determined. Remember, stay consistent, build the discipline, feed the motivation. Hey everyone, Zach here. Guys, big episode, episode 10. We are in the double freaking digits. Let's go. I want to thank all of y'all for listening to all the different episodes, being here, part of the community. We're still small. We're growing. You guys are here from the beginning, and I'm super pumped, super excited. I heard this uh, stat the other day, and it motivated me at the same time as challenging me. But they said to be like in the top 1% of podcasters, again, I didn't look this up. I got to validate this stat. Uh, you have to release more than 21 episodes. So we're almost halfway there. So we got a long way to go. So I don't know if that puts me at 50%. Who knows, right? Uh, and that just means putting stuff out there, staying consistent, right? Like I, I preach it, staying consistent. I got to stay consistent with this project as well. I have a lot of other things I got going on, right? But, you know, this is, we're halfway there, episode 10. I'm super excited. I'm glad you're here with me. Guys, what we're talking about today is how do we exercise our willpower? Um this is something interesting. I was kind of thinking about what to talk about this week. And, you know, this might be because I'm reading the alcohol book right now, which we're going to review at the end of the month when I'm actually done it. And I'm going to be done it within the month. But, you know, people always have these new goals. They have this motivation, like we're talking about, but they don't have discipline yet. But why is it not? Why do they give in to these crutches of life? Why do they give in to peer pressure? Why don't we have that willpower, that that self-desire, whatever, to the determination, as we talk about, the determined man to do what's right, to do what we know. You know, I was talking to my sister recently about the gym, and I didn't want to go. It was the weekend. I had a day off, whatever. But we know after working out, we are going to feel better about ourselves. We know once we start working out, we're going to enjoy it. I know this when I practice my instrument. The minute I start practicing it, I know I'm going to enjoy it. But why do we have such a hard time starting that? Why don't we have that discipline, right? But almost more than discipline in some ways, it's that willpower, that 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 willpower to say, get up and get after it. Why can't we just say that and do it? Do what we say we're going to do. And I think for certain things, um, there's a, addictions out there. This is, again, the alcohol book is really seeping into me because I've been reading it. Uh, there's things like addictions that it's really hard for us to get away from. And I used to always say this too. I th- I think the human like willpower is stronger than any addiction. Now, I've never been addicted to anything uh, really negative. I mean, I guess you can have positive addictions. Uh, I guess everything in moderation, right? But I've never had something where I can't just give it up. You know, I went cold turkey on drinking last year. I went cold turkey this year. I gave up taking my headache medicines. I used to take these goody powder headache medicines every day. It was like a, a, I just needed it. Right. I don't know. No, I didn't even have a headache. I just needed that caffeine. I needed to take it. Um, and I just stopped. I just, in September, I said, I'm not doing this anymore. And I stopped and I know my mom gave up smoking, just cold Turkey. So you hear all these success stories of people where they just give things up. And I think that is something you can, you can just do it. Your willpower is strong enough. But there's got to be a reason. You got to have a, a long term goal, right? You have to have a the why kind of behind why you're doing it. But I do think it's something you can exercise. And this is a thought that I kind of started coming up with last year when I was doing my my journey when I was losing all my weight and everything. And I did little things to exercise it. And what these little things are like thirty day challenges. And I noticed a lot of people just did dry January. I know a lot of people kind of extended that to the Super Bowl. I know at least. Um, maybe if your team got bounced early, you, you ended that earlier. I don't know who knows. Right. But I think the 30 day challenges is a unique way to just exercise that, that muscle, that muscle of willpower. And then you can tap into that later. I'm not saying you always have to do it, but I think when people do that 30 day challenge of no drinking, that is exercising. I think, um, it's something that you need to continue working on so that way you can tap into it. And then when you decide to go full bore and give something up longer or whatever, then when you say you're going to do something, you've already proven to yourself in the past that you can do something that seemed extreme or seemed like you would never be able to do it. So like some of the things I did last year, let me just give you guys examples. 
Um, I did no sweets for a whole month. No, no ice cream, no cookies, whatever. And if you guys know me, I love ice cream. I freaking love it. And I did it in the month of August, which is like the worst month to do it because it's like warm and hot and perfect for a nice cold ice cream. So I gave up ice cream and cookies for a whole month. There was another month I did no social media September. So I deleted all the apps and I even like included YouTube as a part of that where, I mean, here's the problem, right? YouTube is very educational. You can listen to a lot of great stuff. You can learn a lot of things, but then you guys know how it is. We all get stuck. We get stuck down that rabbit hole. Maybe you got stuck down that rabbit hole and that's how you found this podcast, The Determined Man. If you're not followed, subscribe to me on YouTube, go follow me and subscribe to me on YouTube. Appreciate it. All my audio listeners. Um, but guys, I did little things like that. I also did this weird challenge. It was actually longer than 30 days. I want to do every workout in a hoodie. And I think I, I lasted from January last year all the way to July. And I'm talking when I say workout, I ran outside in like 90 some degree weather in a hoodie. And so people are like, well, why? That's stupid. You could overheat. True, right? They're not wrong. But it's also that mental toughness I wanted to develop. That mental toughness, that willpower to do what I said and follow through with it. And I just think that's something that is lost. People are addicted to their phones. People are addicted to social media. They're addicted to like getting praise from others. They're addicted to, um, or they're not addicted, but they, they have the peer pressure will convince them to do something they know is wrong because they want to fit in and they don't have that, that willpower and that determination to do what they know is right regardless. And we've talked about this in a previous episode that when you're on a path and a focused journey, you kind of shut all that outside noise out. But that is hard to do that cold turkey, right? Our whole society has pressure, you know, from others. Hey, this is what everyone else is doing. You should do it too. It's got media pushing things at you. These these apps are just like attacking you with ads and information. You got to be in the now and the no and all this other stuff. So I think just figuring out little things. I was just thinking about this like, I think these 30 day challenges are a really good way to push yourself, but it's not too extreme. And then you can stretch it out if you want. You don't have to You go back to how it was. Obviously, I think for me, the no drinking for a whole year is an extreme one. But I will tell you this, guys. Last year, I, I cut out soda and I have not had soda in over a year. So I'm not saying everything is bad. Everything in moderation, right? And so social media, is it bad? Uh, no, I mean, it's good. You can connect. I mean, you're probably found me through some kind of social media or things like that. Uh, sugars and sweets. Is it bad? I mean, probably if we're talking about like fitness, you probably don't need it, but you know, why I live in the best time in, in the history of mankind and not enjoy the sweets, but everything in moderation. Soda, is it bad? Yes, but I could probably have diet soda. I know a lot of people drink diet soda, you know, the sugar-free stuff. I don't even drink that anymore. So I think as you develop those, those things that you do, those 30 day challenges, you then decide if you want to continue those or go back to it, but you now know. That's the best thing about it. It's not about the physical changes or or whatever, the, the healthy benefits to it, the mental health benefits to it. I mean, all those things are great, but you now know that you're able to follow through with what you said you're going to do, and you are in control, right? We always think of addiction like smoking, drinking, drugs, you know, but there's other addictions. You're addicted to your phone. You're addicted to getting praises and, and peer pressure. You're addicted to um, wanting to prove yourself and things like that. So I think when you know deep down that you're able to control your actions and decide what you want to do and what you don't want to do, and you're not going to, you know, cave to outside pressures. I think that is so strong. I think the 30 day challenges is a great way to exercise that. And also some small goals and better your life all at the same time. You could do a fitness one. It could be a mental health issue. Go be all these things to better your life. So just a thought, maybe try it uh, in the comments. Please let me know what maybe I should do for another 30 day challenge. Tell me what your 30 day challenge you're doing. I would love to start some 30 day challenge kind of things. So guys, again, thanks for joining me. Like I said, if you haven't followed me on uh, YouTube, please do. If you haven't followed me on like Spotify or um, Apple podcasts, whatever, please do. All the information's in the links of whatever you're listening on. I really appreciate you guys. Big episode 10, big uh, milestone for us here. Appreciate all of you guys' help. Guys, remember to stay consistent so you build that discipline to feed that motivation. And I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.